Y'all motherfuckers ready for some whimsy? Today we're playing Tracks, as requested by Patreon subscriber Knob. Click. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it just goes. Evidently. Yeah. I never had a train set as a kid, I don't think. I think. Press F to move forward to the tutorial. K to skip. Okay. Oh, but W doesn't move me forward. Okay. F. Wads moves around my camera. Cool. Left will put down pieces. There we go. Put the cursor where you want the track to go. Right undoes. Junctions and crossings will be made automatically when you approach a piece of existing track. Press C to clear your current piece or to remove the piece you're looking at. Press the left mouse button to on a track to uh, socket to build fr uh, from it. If you can't select a socket, you may be already building somewhere else. Press C to clear that piece. Q and E or the mouse wheel to move yourself and track pieces up and down. Oh yeah? Okay. Press T to switch between train and build mode. Train mode. Okay. WASD controls the speed of your turn. No, and to turn... Yeah. Press space to quickly stop. Hold T to reset the train back to start. The train doesn't have to run on tracks all the time. It can drop from above or run along the floor and furniture. Press spacebar to open the toolbox and pick an object to create. Okay. Grab a little house. There you are, right in the middle. Left click to drop the object, R to rotate, C to clear. What a nice little art art style, isn't it? Just pleasant, now that I'm actually filling some of it in and we have more texture than just the, the wood. Press ALT! Oh, we're getting complicated here. Before placing an object, if you want to keep them at the height of your camera instead of the surface you're looking at. When building tracks, this ALT mode allows you to place alternative pieces. Press G to open scenery menu and make adjustments to the level. Tone. Oh. You can change the general look of like the entire screen at once. That's the tone, that's the sky color. Interesting. Fog density? Much. <laughs> Interesting. Full zero, full 100. This is interesting. Floors blank. Grass. Mud. Stone. Water. Sand. It's a nice little texture. Hay? Snow. A lot of options, actually. The train can be wood. And wood. <laughs> That's the current option. Style options. Ooh. Patterns. Checker. Lines. Blank. It's the train down there. The strength of the pattern, I guess? Yeah. You can change the condition of the train, which pretty much seems to cover it in rust. It's kind of neat looking at it be a bit, a bit messed up. Oh, it's because it's a painted... It's a painted wooden train, so that's the paint showing through. Hmm. You can change different parts of it to be different colors. Alright. Lock style. Take this box to keep the current style when loading a save file. It's been five minutes since you last saved. It's an emergency, it says during the tutorial. Alright. Gingerbread. <laughs> oh, I'm picking... You can turn the whistle on and off. And you can choose between wooden and gingerbread. So that just makes it basically made of candy and stuff. Alright. 
Open toy box? That's this stuff again. There we go. Stop putting lamps in my games. Alright, what's next? Open level select in the main menu to pick between environments and game modes. Let's see, T was train mode? Look at the detail there. On the wood. How about we go on reasonably fast? Yay! Nothing could go wrong. Is this filling you with an anxiety yet? This would be a really good time for me to have the Willy Wonka monologue memorized, but I don't. <laughs> and they're showing no signs that we are slowing. All right. Level select. What's going on here? Passengers. Build a track to take passengers to their destinations. And then a secret mode. So those are the two those are the two modes. I have to pick a setting first. Then the map changes which which modes are available. So clear is just nothing. It's just daytime or nighttime. Modern apartment. There we are. Why does nighttime apartment only have one of the options? And then bedroom. So this is the only mo uh, lo location you can play in if you want to play in passenger mode. Let's try that one. Passengers. Uh, play. Passengers will appear around the room. Open the toy box and drop a platform close to where they are waiting. Press K to skip this tutorial. There they are. Build some track to your new platform and stop there to let the passengers on onto your carriages. Drop the passengers off at the station to proceed. Okay. Now we have a goal. And apparent. Let's see. Uh, I may have already lost it. <laughs> I thought they said press K to put a station down. Opt uh, controls. Space bar is the spawn is the toy box. They said K was for something, right? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Up here is buildings. Decoration, nature, vehicles, passengers. Ah, there's a station. Just plop one of these guys down. You can't add stations when, play when playing passengers mode. I can add a platform. Okay, rotate. I guess it wants to face this way, right? Because the... There we go. You guys gonna hop in there? Yep, shows, it even sends out a nice little radius circle so you can clearly see what's going on. This seems really like a nicely put together game, if it's, you know, what you're going for. Alright, so now there's a platform. I just need to navigate towards there. There's already a station here. Oh, right, because you take them to the station. You need to pick them up at platforms. There's a few stations. Okay. I can see through this wall. That's eerie. Because there just aren't walls, I guess. Just stuff. There's just decorations that go along walls. Oops. What happens if I just go around the wall? Do you build supports? Does it fall? Oh no. What have I done? It needs to be lined up perfectly. Oh, it was lined up perfectly? Because <laughs> I have to go on this side of the track. Hey everybody. I'm gonna have to figure out a height change. Impressive how these things can just hover magically. I, I kind of wonder if the moment the train goes across them they'll collapse or if I'm supposed to even put supports down or what. Ah. This is how we change height.
Oh no. I kind of want the tutorial to come back now. To re-explain. Uh, I was supposed to go to the station, right? I wasn't low enough a moment ago. Is that good? And we'll just loop you back around to here. Oh no. There we go. I think by the time you're at the right height, it actually does end up kind of getting onto the right spot. Let's see, just see what happens when I drive over. If I just fall catastrophically. No. Nope, slow down. Slow down! Oh yeah, because you're choosing your target speed. Oh, it reverses. Oh, it reverses. I guess it reverses if you go under the line. And if you're by- and if you're near the line, it's, it pauses. I'd like to let them on now. Just want to line this up. Come on. Yeah. Just come right on over. <laughs> they all walk like they're toys. What if the music matched the tempo of how fast you were driving? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Go on, get. No. No. Nope. Gonna go and get me in trouble, huh? Yeah, I think I was supposed to take them right to the station. Which I would do somehow. Let's see. What? How'd you get over there? What? Oh, I'm doing undo, right. Whoops. That's all underneath. Whoops. There we go. Stay there. Calm down. There's a way to, like, undo a specific one, isn't there? There must be like a track that lets you change your height or change your you where you are on the grid or something. It's like I'm just a little bit off on the grid. What does that say? Icon size. That just makes it possible to see more of it at once. Scenery menu. I need more track options. Keep pressing right click. Okay, get out of there. I thought I understood the controls. But reading it all in one go is not always great. Uh, remove is C. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, alternate build mode might have helped. Placement grid size 1 and 2.
I'm changing the snap percentage. That doesn't necessarily mean that I can change how what the rate at which it turns. There we go. Now let me r remove some of them. Ah, yeah, yeah. I assume I need to get to there, which is what I thought at first too, but I couldn't figure out how to actually make it physically connect, which is why we're here. This might serve a purpose. It's at least lining up. Oops. Need you to connect to everything else. There we go. That's connected. So now, oh, how'd you happen? Uh-oh. Calm down. There we go. I've more or less solved the original problem. Now I just need to deal with the fact that the train is like not attached to, oops, the current system. And you get the train back on track. Ha 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 ha. No. Rewind by one. No. There we go. Done it. My masterpiece. I don't know, using the corkscrew is able to just barely get it in range. I don't know why I couldn't line it up the first time, but I could not get it to line up the first time. right-click feature is a trap. Don't mind me, folks. I'm just going to try not to crash us off of this thing. This is too close. just want to merge them. There we go. <laughs> this seems unsafe. I need, to, I need to back up and turn while going down a hill, which is probably incredibly unsafe, but toys. Calm down. Ah, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go forward through all of it. A zero out of ten. Why does it say zero out of ten? Oh, that's how many I've delivered so far. Let's see the corkscrew. There we go. Get off my damn train. This is the most expensive train ride ever. We had to build the whole railroad. Do you know how many people die when people build railroads? <laughs> A new set of passengers have arrived somewhere. Find them and bring them back to the first station of the sofa. There we go. So we are going to the sofa. Let's get rid of this mess. This utterly unrelated mess. No! No! There we go. The distinction between right click and circle is messing with me at times. Just up here, huh? All right.
Aha, oh. You didn't see that. Ooh. Oh, but it looks all messed up. <laughs> I can't get it to ever get back on the right spot because of how the turning works. We're doomed. Okay, we made it. We're fine. Except for that terrifying part where what, ha what happens if I don't turn there. That's terrifying. I shouldn't be there. There we go. Nice little merger. Man, dad's gonna be mad when he gets home and the entire house is... Can't even walk in here. Is definitely the type of shit they would say. When a frustrated father comes home. And toys are everywhere. Ta-da! I mean, let's be honest, you see how sterile this environment is, and this person's like Jody from, uh, Beyond Two Souls. There, this is actually like a sterile lab environment. Hold left? And you, cool, you turned. This is definitely like a sterile lab environment, where <laughs> nobody ever visits, and they're, they're, they're currently observing me through a uh, one-way mirror. That always mess with me. Uh, I think that, I think people always call them two-way mirrors. But why is it a two-way mirror if it's a mirror on one side and a window on the other way on the other side? Wouldn't that be a one-way mirror? I guess that's what a mirror already is, though. So I think this is mostly just where language fails us. Boom! Nailing it. All I'm doing is hitting the E brake every single time. That makes it very safe. A set of business passengers are waiting on the dining table. These must be taken to the business station within the time limit. Oh shit. Uh, time limits. Scary. Okay. No big deal. Um, that way. Oops. That's the business one, right? Oopsie. Aha. I can just tie, line this up just right. Aha. Oh wait, that doesn't, that's not where I want to go. Probably spending too much time setting up the return trip, considering the time limit that I'm already facing. There we go. Nice, safe little return spot. Alright. Uh, I was supposed to take them to the other one, right? Not this one? Because they're prisoners! We'll see. I'm running out of time. This is where the video game video game begins. Where, like, there's actually stakes all of a sudden, and we have to be in a hurry. I almost didn't make it. I might still not make it, but I mean, it's way closer than you'd think. Oh no! Did you notice my pro my mistake? Ha 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 ha! Platform. Get your ass on that spot. No, I five. Oh my goodness! That's a harsh time limit. Quickly, we need to business on time, everyone. If we don't business, everyone will die. That was, that's a harsh time limit that's already o over, but there was seem to be no punishment, so I don't know. Get off. Get out. Oh, 
All right. Oh, back to regular. No time limit this time, huh? If I press forward on the train, does it keep going on its own? Where'd I put it? Oh, over here. It does keep going on its own. The train will just kind of wander around at the speed I left it at. That probably is a better strategy, as you could have it going, then start building the track ahead of it. Multitasking. With the sufficient time limits and stuff like that, and stuff spawning everywhere, that could act, this could actually be a kind of intense strategy game, to some extent. Uh, like the... like those games on the phones where you drop... where you, uh... There's planes that are trying to land, or there's try or there's, uh... Cars trying to park in a parking lot, and all of them are trying to get to specific... Uh, so you're trying to land every plane or park every car, but you, you, you do it by drawing lines of where they're supposed to go, and all of those vehicles will just keep moving uh, for as at all times. So you're just, it's a big old juggling act. I don't know where these people spawned. I thought maybe they were like way the hell up here. Not down here. Oh, down here. Look at you. Okay. This is actually pretty chill. This reminds me of, uh... The feeling I get from, like, Zen Bound. Which is a game where all you do is you take some rope and you wrap up a, uh... You wrap up a doll, basically. And you check the height against each other. Not quite. But that game, Zen Bound gives you a a 3D model of like a doll of some sort, like a wooden figure, and your goal is to take rope and wrap it up. And that's just the whole game. And you're graded on... The rope has a certain length, so you have a, a grade based on how well you, uh, you wrap up the overall thing. Excuse me? I think you had infinite time to just keep wrapping, and you could... And it's not like it was sticky or anything, so you could just unwrap it if you weren't happy with your results. And try again. And just keep trying to find the best way to wrap this limited length of rope around this figure until it covered as much of it as possible. I don't like the, uh... I just don't like the threat of being, like, straight up dying via this thing. Let's have it go away. You can climb up via here. There we go. Much better without the risk of straight up dying. Oh, it doesn't have the throttle to make it up that at the existing speed. That's funny. Go! I believe in you! Achieve maximum speed. You can do it. Look at it go. I think it's leaning too. Okay, uh, so I need to build a platform. And I'll remind you, you don't have to play this mode if you're playing this game. Because you can also just play the mode where you just do whatever the hell you feel like. And just... Oh no, I made it so they have to cross the... Oh, that's, un that's not a good idea. I made it so they have to cross the track in order to get onto the platform. <laughs> but you don't have to play this mode if you play this game, because you can just play the one where you build for just having fun. And you can decorate and put little houses down and stuff like that. Oh, hold right, there we go. Pressing the emergency brake because I was rocketing down a hill and I was never going to be able to stop in time. This is chill. This is the type of game I would play for my Q&A series, or something. Because I can just kind of idly mess around and answer questions and whatnot. I bet if you just keep going and they keep spawning more of them, that this becomes an insane spider web. And you're having to memorize so many locations that you've, uh... You've built your stations at and stuff like that. This is neat. Oh yeah, my train doesn't reflect the one I customized during the tutorial. I just remembered that. Oh, don't- excuse me? Don't get off while it's moving. 
There you go. There you go. Alright, I think I'm gonna call it here, guys. This has been Tracks, the train set game thing. Oh no, time limits are happening, and oh, they spawned both at once. Damn. Uh, I don't even know where they spawned either. Oops, I just space barred. I don't know why I'm still playing, because I'm about to exit out. Yeah, this was requested by Knob on Patreon. Uh, the key was provided by the developers. Thanks for watching. If you want to check this game out, there's a link to the Steam page in the description. Oh, they're all up here. Huh. So I guess you could pick them all up at once. But then you'd have to go to there and to there separately. Look at it go. It's kind of neat just to see it go. I would definitely build supports for these things if I played this game and had more time. Just because it looks really weird watching them fly through the air with not even a beam even in the corners or something to make it look like it's possible. But yeah. Link in the description and all that. Thanks for watching like always guys and I'll see you next time.